Hi everyone! So today in this video we're going to learn how to make your first website in HTML. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to Repl.it. Um, and Repl.it is super cool for this because is when you make the website, you can actually share that site and people can actually go to it. Um, and that's because it would be all under the Repl.it domain. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to New REPL and then instead of Python like we normally do, we're going to scroll down until you see HTML, CSS, and JS, JavaScript. So that means that everything is all going to be in the same um, project. And then let's name it my first website. Okay, so once this loads, um, we can see that there are actually three files already in the project for us. So the first file is called index.html, and this is a basic HTML file. Um, so what's nice about this is it actually gives us a lot of the beginning things that we need so that we don't have to type them out. And pretty much no one types the, you know, the first part like of an HTML document out by hand um, because it's kind of just like a general form. Um, so let's go through what this form actually means. So the first, this is called a tag. Um, so it, HTML works with tags. Tags just define where or what is going to be going on in this portion of the website. So for example, this first tag is just doc type HTML. So that just tells the, the, the file I'm going to be using HTML here. And then you open the HTML tag. Okay, so the way that you would make a tag is by um, a less than sign, then HTML, and then a greater than sign. Um, and then notice that in line two, HTML opens the tag. So that's called an open tag. And then down here, we close the HTML tag. That means that everything that you type that is HTML must go between the open HTML tag and the close HTML tag. Okay, so within the HTML tag, now the first tag that you should always have is the header. So the heading part, this is stuff that you don't really have to worry too much about. Um, so it takes care of all of the information on a website that you don't necessarily see. So this here, the char set, um, UTF-8, um, so that's kind of just saying like I want to use basic ASCII symbols on my website. So there are different things that you can put in here. So like for instance, if you were writing a website in Chinese, then you wouldn't be using UTF-8. And then Metadata, remember that metadata is just data that's attached to a file that is not specifically visible. Um, so here, this is just telling us the viewpoint, the content. So this is all just standard. Um, the title is just called REPL IT, which is fine. I mean, we could change the title if we want to my first website. And then also in the header, you have a link that links you to style.css. So style.css is what makes your website pretty. Um, so originally, if we look at our CSS file, it's right here on the left-hand side, there's nothing in there, which means that when we first start typing and making our website, our website's gonna be really boring. And then I'll show you how you can change style.css to update the fonts and the colors and all that stuff. Okay, so that's all for the header. And then over here, then after we close the header tag, then I'm going to open a body tag. Everything that the user can see is in the body of your website. So the first thing inside head, which is already done for you, is it's referencing another file. So another file that's being referenced is called script.js. So that is a JavaScript file. Now, if you click on that, you'll see that there actually isn't anything in there right now. 
but what JavaScript does is it makes your website interactive. So you can have it where if you click a button, then um, something pops up and tells you, you know, like a notification will pop up. Um, if you drag the mouse over something, then maybe the picture changes, things like that. So it makes your website dynamic, but you don't have to use it. You can just have a really boring website that looks like a page in a book, and um, then you wouldn't be using uh, the script tag at all. But either way, that is where you would put it. So before all of that, I'm going to first start by just putting in a header tag. So there's h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, and h6. So if you take a look at the HTML tutorial website, I'm going to share this with you. Um, W3Schools has a lot of good information um, about a lot of different um, languages, and HTML is one of them. So if you look here, you'll see HTML Home, and this just gives you some general um, information and some examples. Um, so if you scroll down and you look at the headings tag, notice that H1 is a little bit bigger, H2 is a little bit smaller than that, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, they just go down um, as you go. So, for example, if you did heading one and you put that in your website, um, then that would look like this. Um, so this is just an example. Now, you can always change this font size later on, um, but if you know that you're going to want to use like a heading at the top of your HTML document um, and you want it to be big, then I would just set it as H1. Okay, so let's first start by opening an h1 tag. So the way you would do that is you would put open pointed bracket, then h1. Um, now notice Repolit will like predict what you're going to do. So um, it'll actually tell you like what it expects you to type. So I opened an h1 tag. Then I'm going to type what I want in that position. So I'm going to write Mrs. Tan's um, restaurant. And then once I open the H1 tag, I also have to close the H1 tag. So to do this, I'm going to um, close the H1 tag by um, putting an open pointed bracket, then a slash, and then h1. So see how it kind of predicts it for you. So this is the open, this is the close, the only difference is there's a slash before the h1. Okay, so now if I try running this, wow, look it, I have a website and it actually says something in there. Um, so this is the link to your actual website. So if you actually click um, open in new tab over here, it's gonna open it up for you. And so like, this is this is your first website. Um, so that's kind of cool that Repolit allows you to have a site that's actually usable. Um, but anyway, so let's go back and down here, this is all just for like debugging. So we can quickly see what it looks like as we go. Um, so after H1, uh, let's put in H2. So I'm gonna have like a menu. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this. I'm going to call this two instead of one. And I'm going to say menu. Um, and then let's run that just to see what it looks like. Okay, great. So we have Miss Tan's restaurant, then we have menu. Um, and then after that, I'm going to start a paragraph tag. So the paragraph tag allows you to put like, you know, um, longer pieces of information that um, the font isn't as big. So um, the paragraph tag is just a P. Um, I always like to hit enter, enter, and then close that paragraph tag. So close it right away so that um, you don't forget to close it later. And inside the paragraph tag, um, I am going to put some, um, some food on my menu. 
Um, so the first thing I'm going to put is uh, French fries. And I'm going to say that those are $2. Um, okay, and then I'm going to show you something wrong, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. So say I did something like 2, and then onion rings, and I'm going to make that $3. And then for 3, um, I'm going to put chips and guacamole. Um, and that's pretty expensive. I'll make it seven. And then here I'll put uh, mozzarella sticks. And that'll be four dollars. This is a really healthy restaurant with really healthy food. Um, okay, so when I click run, notice that everything is in the same line. And that's because in this code here, even though I hit enter, it doesn't read it as I want a new line. So when you hit enter in HTML in an, and in a lot of different um, computer languages, you need to specifically say you want a new line. So in order to put a new line in HTML, you do open um, pointed bracket and then BR and then close. So that gives you a break between one and the other. Um, so if we put this here, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here, paste it here. Um, okay. So now we've got Miss Tan's restaurant. We have French fries, onion rings, chips and guacamole, and mozzarella sticks, and they're all there. Great. Hi, so now I'm going to show you how to change your website so that it's more stylish. Um, and to do that, you're going to be using CSS. So right now our website is pretty boring. It's just black text. Um, and if you click on style.css, notice that this file right now is blank. So if we type stuff in it, then we can change the color, we can change the font, all that kind of stuff. So the first section in your CSS file that you're going to include is body. Um, so you're going to type what section you want to change in terms of style. Then you're going to do an open curly bracket. And notice that Repl.it will close the curly bracket for you already. And then you just hit enter. So when you open the curly bracket, it closes immediately. And then um, you're just going to type everything in here. Okay. So what are we going to type? So let's change our font. So to change your font, you're going to do font-family. And then Repl.it will actually predict what you want to do. So um, I'm going to type Tahoma. That has to go into um, quotes. And it should end with a semicolon. So to end a statement in CSS, it must use a semicolon. All right, so if I run this, notice that the font just changed. So after that, let's change the color of the font. Um, notice that it already predicts what you um, want, so you can just click blue, and it's something that CSS will already know if you just type blue. You can also put something like um, a hexadecimal RGB value if you want. So if I did, like, background color. And instead of doing like a straight up color, let's <clears throat> do something like um, hashtag, let's do like a light, a very light blue. Okay, so that would be mostly red, mostly green, and a lot blue. Okay, um, and then we click run. Again, you don't have to ever use an RGB value. You can just click, you know, type the color that you actually want and it'll know. Um, so most, there's a lot of color stored in as keywords in CSS. Okay, so after that, let's 
actually make a change to the heading, just H1 itself. So H1, it just says Mrs. Tan's restaurant. So you're going to type H1, then open curly bracket. It'll close it for you. And then in here, you're going to add code to just modify Mrs. Tan's restaurant. So for this one, let's change the color uh, and let's make it green. And then let's also change the text alignment. And let's make it center. And then let's make the font size a little bit bigger. So font size. Um, and let's make it, so if you use EM, then that's just going to be like the height of it. So let's do like 2.5 and let's see what that does. Oh, it's about the same as before. Uh, we can do about 3.5. All right. So Miss Tan's restaurant, nice and big letters. I don't know if I love that color because it's a little bit too bright. So you can go in here and you can change that color by making it a little bit darker. Like so. And then when you run it, it'll change the color. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is I wanna change the H2 and I wanna change the paragraph. So H2, I'm just gonna actually copy and paste all this. But I'm going to take out font size. I think the font size is fine the way it is. Um, and I'm going to make this left instead of center. And I'm going to change the color to um, let's do pink. Oh, I was missing a semicolon. There you go. So, um, oh, and I want to change this to H1 and not H, or H2 and not H1. Okay, now I have my menu is one color in H2, and I have my um, title in another color. And then, and I want to change the title a little bit because I think it's a little too big. So let's do 3.0. There we go. And then we can leave the text as blue. That's fine. So I'm not even going to change the paragraph. I'm just going to leave it as a default value from what the body is giving me. Okay, so that's how you're going to add CSS style to your website.